Hello, I'm Squarks. I read terrible fanfiction. Um, today on Friendship is Magic, we had a little new addition to our family. Um, a new brony joined, or not brony as the case might be, as you'll soon find out. His name is, um, oh, where is it? Bronies in me, zero dot zero. Um, and he has this little idea. I'm just going to read out what he wrote, because he's got this pretty cool idea, and I think we should all get behind it. Here is his post. <clears throat> Yeah, you're reading it. I just want to keep this short. I've been looking for people like you that can animate great and make, make it similar to the actual MLP show. So basically what I want to do is a series on YouTube that is a parody of MLP. This also isn't fan fiction of any kind, and no, I'm not a brony. So the story will have action, but mostly it's emotional. It's a depressing story that goes against everything that MLP Friendship is Magic teaches. Aren't you excited? Time to flood a barrage of my dumb ideas into your head. It's about my new Pegasus. Let's name him Bob because I don't know what to name him. Who comes to Ponyville who doesn't know how to fly, is just learning how to talk, and has no cutie mark except for a scar on one side of his flank. They came from the fire that his, the fire of his house that killed his parents and made Bob have a trauma that made him forget his past, and is caused with, and is caused by his twelve powerful, uh, you, <laughs> blah, and is caused by his powerful unicorn twin brother who ha hates Bob because his parents would ha hate him for being the only unicorn in the family and loved Bob, all based on the words they used, and will continue to try and ruin Bob's life and make everyone turn against him while remaining in hiding and letting no one know that he exists. For the next couple of weeks, Bob will be blamed for the murders. There will only be one or two, so the story doesn't get cheesy and stupid, just like you're already thinking that it is. Of ponies, because if Bob says a single word to somebody, his brother kills that pony. Since no one has been killed before in this perfect country of Equestria, everyone in Ponyville freaks out and blames Bob because he just got there. Bob also blames himself for all the deaths because he doesn't know he has a twin brother, so he's already depressed because the other ponies got killed before he came to Ponyville. Especially the train wreck that happened on his way to Ponyville. <laughs> so, so now Twilight will go insane and try to discover the new powerful magic to make Bob suffer that especially on the train the most. Fluttershy will think Bob is innocent and will help him for some time, but then will become convinced that he killed all those ponies and will use her stare to make Bob kill himself. This will be the first time Bob dies in the story. <laughs> Only the first time. <laughs> but since his brother wants him to suffer as much as possible, and since he is already in control of the most powerful unicorn magic because he was born in a family that was 100% Pegasus... Can't argue with that logic. He makes him come back to life many times so he can suffer the pain of life and death again and again. But the most conflict will be between Bob and Rainbow Dash, who will become addicted to trying to kill Bob. Throughout the story, they'll have several confrontations and fist fights, or hoof fights to you bronies, and violent Pegasus chases. Any normal pony will try to kill capture Bob if he sees him. Now that the word is against Bob for something he didn't do, he, and he has no friends... <laughs> and he has to be in hiding for the rest of his life. One day, Bob will finally meet his twin brother and will learn that these deaths weren't his fault. Now he changes from being depressed to talking, to taking, trying to take revenge on his brother, but since he's the most powerful unicorn, it's kind of hard to do that. One would think. <clears throat> Later on in the story, he will be captured and brought to Princess Celestia. Bob will say something like, I didn't do it! But Celestia won't believe him and will turn him into stone. The ponies will break the stone monument because they're angry pricks. But when they look inside it, it's hollow because Bob's brother saved him. Now Celestia gets a fun opportunity to get killed because Bob talked to her. Sometime late. Wait, they, they kill. They, okay, they just kill Celestia. Sometime later, Bob's twin brother will go inside the castle, kill all the guards with his magic, and will have a small magical fight with Celestia, who will be beaten and killed. One guard will see him and escape and say the murderer was Bob because they're twin brothers, except Bob's a Pegasus and people are stupid like that when they hate somebody. But now that Celestia is dead, her little sister Luna has to take the job of raising both the sun and the moon, and since she's too young for that, she'll die after a month or two from the pleasure from the pressure of the job. <laughs> Not from the pleasure, that'd be weird. I guess we can have her horn explode or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess we could have her horn explode or something, but I'm trying to make that not cheesy. 
<laughs> now that Equestria has an eternal sunset because Luna was able to raise the sun that much before dying. And now that both princesses are dead, the spirit that holds up Cantalot will dissipate and collapse because it's on a cliff. For some reason, Bob will be there, and Rainbow Dash will find him, and they have another vicious Pegasus chase through the falling, crumbling, crashing buildings of Canterlot. How thrilling. So yeah, that's the main stuff that will happen. There will be a, two or three alternate endings, but all of them will be depressing and deep. Oh yeah, this is deep stuff, guys. There is no happy ending. All of Bob's efforts will go to nothing except in one ending, and he will die unwanted and hated because of something he never did. There's a ton of gaps in the story because I didn't bother making the rest up. I thought it would never get animated and published. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. Um, we really, really need to get behind this. This is, like, this is the next law-abiding citizen here. This is the next masterpiece in online cinema. We need to make this happen. And, um, with that, I'm out. It's been a little over six minutes trying to describe that to you.